Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plants and Budgets. Today is savings challenge time. So much fun. So today's saving challenge, we're going to do two. I keep forgetting to do my cash box when I do my stuffing. So we're going to, uh, I've got my wallet right here. I'm not going to take the money out on camera because I haven't done anything to secure my license, etc. <laughs> And stuff this box with real cash that I do out of my uh, walking around money that I keep in my wallet. This big teal binder is the binder that I keep for savings challenges that are going to go to my long-term binder. So I have money that I transfer every month into my long-term savings accounts. It's just an auto transfer that's done. And this money... <clears throat> I just started doing savings challenges with it instead of putting it directly into those binders because, let's be honest, it's fun. So when a savings challenge fills up, then I transfer that into my long-term binder. With all that being said, if you'd like to watch me do this, please stick around. Okay, let's move this out of the way real quick and bring out my little cash box um, that I know you guys have seen this. I'm actually stuffing with real cash and I'm just going to dig in here. I'm not looking and I'm going to grab two envelopes because I haven't done this for two weeks. Okay, and it is $15. I think I have a 10 to 5. If not, I'll have to make some change. I think there's change in there. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a five. And there's a 10. So I have that. As I said, I give myself a little uh, walking around money uh, each month that just stays in my wallet. And part of that is just once in a while you know, for a small expenditure for a dollar or two that I don't have to pay. Um, with a credit card and also it's because you never know if your credit card's not going to swipe and you should always carry with you at least enough money for some gas to get home or something like that. So then I'm going to do this bill next. And I did a 52 week on this one. There's 52 envelopes in here plus a couple bonus ones. And this is going to be the money that um, extra cash that I'm taking with me to the Pacific Northwest next year just to have extra fun spending money. And I'll transfer it over into here. So that box is done. Okay, now on to the challenges. This won't be a super long video. Today I am stuffing 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 45, 55, 60, 2, 4, 6, 8, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. $175. I do have a little bit of money I've kept in here as a buffer in case I go over. And I just did that. I just shorted myself on a savings challenge and put it in there. This money has already been transferred into the savings account. So even though it's in a savings challenge, it's in a high uh, yield savings account, which right now through uh, my bank is getting me like 2.50. So I would not be leaving this money just in the checking account right now. Let's get started. I have my super special quarter and some dice. And the first challenge that I'm going to be doing is my travel challenge. Get my pins out. I'll either fast forward through the coloring or I will um, just leave it as it is. Let's do a green passport. I'm going to do 25 in here to start. I can always come back and do some more in here. This specific challenge, because it's travel, is going to go specifically to fund my travel binder. I do do a sinking fund in that. But this is just to put a little bit extra money towards travel. At the end of the year, anything left, I'm sorry, that's 25. At the end of, end of the year, anything left in my travel binder will, will get, part of it will get left for the first of the year and part of it will get carried over um, into my uh, long-term binder so that it's all 
in there. Once it's been allocated for travel or whatever expenditure to my sinking funds, it will stay in that forever. It will never go back into my main investment account. Now in travel, I have 50, 70, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 45, and 150 dollars. This is a $400 tracker, and when it gets there, I will transfer that specifically to my travel. This is my roll of the die, and yep, I got that in there. Okay, so for this one, you roll, I don't think it's called roll the die. I saw someone, or actually a couple different people do it. So you roll the dice, and then when you can't uh, roll anymore, that's the amount you save. When you can't mark off. So you roll two dice for this. So for instance, I have a four and a three. So I could mark off just a seven or I could mark off a four and a three. I'm going to mark off just the seven. Boop. And now I have a five. I'm going to go ahead and do a three and a two on this one. And now I have a four, so I have to do the four. And now I have a four again. Okay, and I can't mark it off. So that means I have to save all of these. I had all these low numbers. So this is this is the reason I put a little bit away for a slush in my savings trackers because some of these um, challenges like this one doesn't routinely or shouldn't routinely cost you that much, but this it's going to cost me a lot this time. 10, 19, 27, 33, 38, 39 is going to go in, into the roll of the die. So 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39, 20, 35, 7, and 9. Oops. And I've got a bunch of these in different colors. And when I'm done using them, I will just erase and start over again. I started with them bigger on printed paper on both sides, but I quite like this smaller size. It makes it easier to color. It's all a learning process and I make my own stuff. So if I don't like it, I just remake it. Now my total in roll the die is 20, 40, 50, 65, 70, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 78 dollars in here already after three weeks. I'll do one more of these if I have money left. I do want to make sure I turn the money that way. Oop, just because I like to see the happy faces of my largest bill. I don't know why. It makes no difference. All right, and we'll put this card back in. The next challenge that I want to do is this new roll the die. And this one is just two dice, a five and a one. And so I will mark off a five and a one, and I will save $6. Okay, and then I want to do, I want to do this one next because it's my 500 dollar challenge and this is going to be to uh, reboot my van emergency fund and I want because I uh, you know bought my van and wiped out most of my savings for it and so I want to get this van emergency fund back up so this is a scratch off which one should I scratch let's try this one it could have numbers up to 50 which is why I want to do it early into this challenge so I have the money Okay, and it's $30. 20 and 30. Let me see, how much do I have left? 20. You know what? I'm going to do one more because I have enough. Let's do this one right here. Oops, can you see? I'll make sure I'm scratching this where you can see. All right. And another 10. I do um, laminate my scratch-offs. It just helps them to scratch off easier. I like the feel of it better. And I've got a bunch of extra three mil sheets that are pretty useless for anything other than laminating just straight paper. They don't work for envelopes. All right, so my total in my van emergency fund now is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, and 85. 
Again, yes, I could just put this money right into my van emergency, but I like the surprise. The dice of the scratch off is telling me how much I'm putting in each category. It just makes it a little bit more fun. Now these three are going to be next. And these are gonna go specifically to my toys for this one. And on this card right here, it's a $150 card. I am doubling it, so there'll be 300 when this is done. This is a $100 card, I'm doubling it. It'll be 200 when it's done. And this is a $75 card, I'm tripling it. It'll be 225 when it's done. And these are the different monies in those categories already. So let's start with toys, I'm doubling it. All right, Toys is gonna get a total of $10. The beauty with these cards too is I can go back when I wanna use them a second time and instead of scratching, I can just mark it off. And so that really, you know, again, makes it a nice reason to laminate. Although I have so many, I probably won't need to do that. All right, so now this fund now has $30 in it and that takes care of that scratch off. Now this one I am doubling and this one has numbers up to $30. So, hope I don't get 30. Phew, okay, didn't get 30. Don't have enough money for 30. And this uh, money when it is done is gonna go into my lazy boy that I'm wanting to get. I got a 10 and I'm doubling it, so I will put a 20 in here. This one now has $70. And this last one is uh, 75, up to tripling it on it. It has numbers of zero to 20. I've already used the 20, so hopefully there's not another 20 in there. I mean, I don't remember. So 25, 30, I'd have to do a little bit of an IOU if I got another 20. Oh, phew, I'm not gonna get another 20, yay! Okay, $10 and I'm tripling it. So that's $30. 10, 25, 27, 29, and 30. How close is that? I couldn't have done it any, <laughs> couldn't have been any more perfect. Okay, let's count up what I have now in this. Should be 60, 90, 120, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 5, 7, 9, and 10, 110. Did I only double one of these? 30, 60, and 120. I must have only doubled one of these, that's fine. That's fine, it is what it is. And then that one is in here. This goes in this envelope. Okay, so now I have two, three, four, five. I am gonna push it and do this roll the die one more time. I do have a little bit in here. If I go over, let's see. This one is just fun to do. So I'm gonna push it, see what I get this time. Okay, I got five. So I'm gonna mark off the five this time. I'm not sure if technically you're supposed to do just a single number for one, but I'm going to. I'm gonna mark off the four this time. I need to get some of these big numbers out of here. A six, I'm gonna mark off the six. A nine, there we go. I'm gonna mark off the I'm gonna mark off the nine. The seven, I'm gonna mark off the, well, oh, I have to mark off the seven. Boom. I can already tell I'm gonna have more than my money in there. 11, yay. 10 and 11, ha 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 ha. Two, three, four, five. You know what? Let me see. Nope, oh, I can't mark it off. You have to have total. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do it with one, but that's okay because it equaled exactly five. I mean, that was like pretty cool. I mean, it's my savings challenge. I could do it any way I want to. So if I want to mark off a single number, I can mark off a single number. And that's two, three, four, and five going into that challenge. And I will probably wait until all four of these cards are done before I transfer it. 
As I said, it's already in my high yield savings, so it's not losing me any money here. This one is not allocated already for a specific fund, and so it will go where I want it to. Like if I want to restock my emergency fund or something like that. So 20, 40, 50, 65, 70, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, and 3 in that challenge. Okay, so that concludes this video for today with my savings challenges to fund my long-term binder. I hope you had fun watching me, maybe got some ideas of some things you can do or things that you can make for yourself. Have a wonderful uh, weekend coming up and as always, take a nice walk. I highly recommend it. Bye.